Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here, and in this video I'm going to be answering a quick question that I got on one of my videos. It says, hey, I need help. I made a user account on my MacBook, and I was wondering how to transfer my iTunes account to the other user account. Okay, and so anyway, uh, thank you a lot for your question. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to make this video pretty quick. Uh, I'm not going to edit it because I'm uh, using just an auto pan screen recorder. So anyway, uh, Okay, so let's go ahead and get to this question. So uh, I made a video on how to do this over on the PC Hacker 11 channel, but some of the commands are different than on uh, the Mac. So this shows this video shows you how to do it over on Windows, but uh, this video that I'm going to be making right now is going to show you how to go ahead and do it on the Mac. So uh, first of all, you're going to need to have all of your music files and make sure you know the location of all of your music files. Because uh, when I did this the last couple times, some of my music files were corrupted and I had to go ahead and find them in my music folder again. So uh, just make sure that if that ever happens, make sure you know the location of all your music files. And before you do this, I suggest backing up all of your music so you know how to go ahead and find your music. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead into Finder and I'm going to go ahead into my music folder. So here's all my music, but uh, please make sure your music folder is more organized than mine because mine is a mess. So um sorry for that so uh, make sure you back up all of this and so once you have that all backed up I would go ahead and back it up to like a portable hard drive or a USB flash drive once you have that all backed up you want to go into your iTunes folder your current iTunes folder and find your iTunes library so as you see here mine is iTunes library and then here we have iTunes library extras and iTunes library genius what you want to do is you want to go ahead and know where the location of all of those files are so then just take all of these files, copy them to a USB flash drive or a portable hard drive, and then import them on your second computer. And so, uh, or not your second computer, your second user account. So once you have them organized, just go ahead and uh, import them onto your second user account and organize them to uh, whatever you need to. Once you have them organized and you know where everything is, what you want to do is you just want to close out of that and go down to iTunes. Make sure that iTunes isn't running. So uh, make sure iTunes isn't running. And then what you want to do is you want to open it up. But before you click on it, hold down the option key. Hold down the option key and then go ahead and start up iTunes. And it should bring up a window like this where you can either create a library or choose a library. So if we read this right here, it says iTunes needs the library to continue. You may choose an existing iTunes library or create a new one. If you want to create a new library, that's fine too. But if you, what we want to do is we want to choose a library. So just go in there, go into iTunes, and find that file that we told you before. So just go into the music folder, go to iTunes, and find your iTunes library. Find this file right here. Just go ahead and find it in here. Then go ahead and click on choose. And then what it should do is it it should open that library up in iTunes but however some of your files might be lost saying that iTunes needs to locate this file so that is why you need to know the location of the file but anyway it's pretty simple all you do is start up iTunes while holding down the option key and then go ahead and choose that original folder or that original file sorry just into the iTunes folder and choose that original library file and then bingo you have all of your music I know all your iTunes libraries transferred to your other user account. So anyway, uh, thanks for your question, Mr. Punk Live. I hope this answered your question. Uh, I really hope this answered your question. In the description, I will post a link to the video I made on the PC Acro 11 channel on how to do this on Windows. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot for your question. I hope this helped. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.